Ubisoft has recently added the marketplace for selected players to sell and buy different weapon skins, headgears, and uniforms, but there's one thing that a lot of players have been complaining about, so make sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to be doing a deep dive into the marketplace and what changes could be made to make it even better. The marketplace on launch was great and I think you can all agree with me on that, but over time the weapon skins have actually changed in value due to the amount of people that have been allowed onto the marketplace. However, with the large number of people getting through onto the marketplace, the first initial wave of players had people selling skins at a lower price to what they are now, and there's a trend with skins going up higher and higher in price. For example, the R4C used to sell for 26,000 credits, and now it's going for closer to 76,000 credits. But what about the skins that have been selling for a lot less, like Black Ice? Well, the prices for them have actually been the complete opposite. Most of the skins actually sold for around 300 to 1,000. There are still some that are still going for around the same price, like R4C and the MP5, but most of them are sitting at around 120 now. Before we continue, if you are enjoying this video, please be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps my small channel grow. Now, back to the video. Now this brings me to what Ubisoft could change to improve the marketplace. I think they should change the minimum amount to buy a weapon skin based on its rarity. Make the uncommon have a minimum of like 40 credits, rare of 75, epic 120, and legendary 170. This would make it possible to sell skins that are significantly worse than Black Ice. The fact that Black Ice can sell for the same price as like Acid Rain is just stupid. Yes, you wouldn't get as many credits for them because you'll be selling it for less and Ubisoft needs to take their percentage of that payment. But at the moment, no one's taking any bids for Acid Rain or anything like that unless you're trying to get every single cosmetic in the game, but I don't think that many people care that much about Siege. Now Ubisoft has announced that in Year 9 Season 2, the Marketplace will be fully launched for all players. Now this will be good for current players on the Marketplace as you'll be able to have more people that want to buy those weapon skins that you have. And people will be more willing to spend more credits on Black Ices that have gone down in value and other headgears and uniforms. So if I were you, hold on to any skins that you have that you want to sell until Year 9 Season 2 and then sell it then because I feel like we're going to be able to sell a lot more than what we have in the past. Now while editing this video, Siege has actually made an update to the marketplace. They've actually added a few things, so I just want to quickly go through them. They've actually added a creator charm, so you don't actually have to use your Twitch Prime sub on the person's Twitch channel to be able to get the charms anymore, which I know a lot of the creators are actually upset about. I've seen a few tweets on Twitter about that, I'll leave them on screen. And they've also added um, Obsidian, which I know is a pretty rare universal skin. They've also added some more event charms, uh, event cosmetics, so if you've missed out on any events, a lot of them are on the marketplace now and you can get them for fairly cheap. Some of them are a bit more expensive than others, but they're still, I think almost every event is on there now, which is actually pretty cool. So if you have missed out on any, make sure you get those. I'm gonna leave, we're just gonna have some popping up on the screen of what's been added. So if you need any of these, make sure to go grab them because I don't know how long they're gonna be at this price for. So make sure to buy or sell if, you, if you've got any of those. And yeah, just wanted to quickly add that in, thanks. Now, what changes do you think Ubisoft can make to make the marketplace even better? Let me know in the comments below. I'll try to respond to all of them. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy this video where I talk about why shields are broken in Rainbow Six Siege.